Hello and welcome to Clown Workouts Session 1 Bafflement. Hello, I'm Holly Stoppit and I'd like to show you a little bit about what bafflement can do for you. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm going to give some guidance for you to have a go at this, uh, just where you are in your home. Uh, I learned about bafflement from John Wright, who taught me to slow down in my clowning. And that's exactly what bafflement does. It gets you to slow your thinking process right down and it gets you to really experience things as if for the first time. It's a really wonderfully rich devising tool as well as a good lesson for life. So there's a few ways into bafflement. You could, for instance, you could just where you are now, you could just think about the point at the back of your head. This point here, right at the back of your head. And once you have your centre back here, it just seems to widen your view a little bit gets you to kind of sit back and observe from the back. Instead of from the front, from this kind of prefrontal cortex, like, oh yeah, I know, yeah, I know about this, I know about that. Bafflement, you place your focus right here at the back of your head and suddenly you don't know anything. And this is a great place to be in clowning. This is a super great place to be. So I've got an exercise for you to try that's going to be an extended period of time in the state of bafflement. But before we do that, let's just give ourselves a bit of a warm up because if you come into this with tension, it's quite difficult to find this beautiful state of bafflement. So let's just have a little shake out. You can shake your hands any way that feels all right for you. And they can go high and they can go low and they can go this way and that way and they can go across and they can go across the other way and they can go wherever. So shaking out the hands. Get them shaking, just let your breath free. <sighs> yeah. Slowly, slowly start to loosen yourself up. Let's get those arms going as well. Get them chicken wings going. Oh yeah. Shoulders. Let's get the shoulders going a little bit. However feels good for you. You might want to do them in circles. You might want to shake them about a little bit. Whatever feels good for you. Ah, a little bit back as well. Just waking your back up a little bit. Whatever feels good for you, whatever stretches or wiggles or maybe swinging your body around a bit. <sighs> whatever feels good, do that. Ah, let's get the back sorted. Yeah. And a pelvis, releasing the hips. You might want to shake your bum. You might want to do some kind of <sighs> leg swinging. Do whatever feels good for you. Just get that bum moving. <sighs> and your legs. Shaking out your legs, here yeah, and your feet, oh, and the whole body, get the whole body going. Oh, and the head and the neck, and the face, let the face go. <laughs> a bit of sound, why not? Yeah, bringing that to stillness. Just feeling your body. Noticing how that feels, just to have had a little shake. Noticing your breath. So, bafflement. I'm going to give you a task to do in the state of bafflement, which might have some interesting effects, but let's see. So to begin with, let's just start with this. Thinking of the back of your head here. Bring it all your attention to the back of your head. Let your face open and soften. Let your mouth soften, let your jaw unhinge. Yeah, let it widen your eyes a little bit. So I'm going to give you a mantra and I'm going to ask you to repeat it out loud a few times. This comes from John Wright. It goes, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Thinking about the back of your head. 
I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Keep going. Yeah. Now, as you go, pick up an object, any object. Yeah, keep going. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. See what happens with this object. There's no rush. You don't have to make anything happen. Just explore it. Feel the weight of it, the texture of it. Just interact with it. Spend some time with it. Get to know it. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Find pleasure. Find games. Huh. Touch it with different parts of your body, maybe. <laughs> maybe it has a little personality of its own. Find out. Yeah, you're having a nice time. Come closer, come closer. Psst, psst, come here. Go to your wardrobe and put on some clothes. Keep going with this mantra. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. And choose yourself an outfit. And when you've got your outfit on, Get somebody to take a picture of you and send it in. Good luck. I don't know.